So it's a beautiful day. You don't have a worry in the world. Who's next? And you're driving down the highway, enjoying your drive. As you drive down the four-lane highway, you come up to a very ubiquitous diamond-shaped orange sign that says, Road Construction Ahead. And soon after that, you see another sign that says, Right Lane Closed Ahead. And you just so happen to be in the right lane. So now you might be thinking to yourself, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you have to merge from two to one lane? What? And that's what I'm here today to talk to you about. I'm here today to talk to you about the scenarios you might be faced when you're trying to answer this question. But I also want to note that I'm not here today to tell you you are right or wrong, whether you merge early or you merge later. But I do want to propose an idea for you to consider when trying to answer this question, using a merge called the zipper merge. So let's begin. So when you start, so when you're in light traffic, any time that you can merge into that open lane safely, do so, as you, as you will not be impending traffic. It's actually recommended that in light traffic that you merge early so therefore you can help continue to maintain the flow of traffic through that construction zone. But things start to change when we go from moderate to heavy traffic. In moderate to heavy traffic, early mergers have a tendency to possibly cause a travel bottleneck. And the reason this happens is early mergers tend to want to go into that open lane, and when they go in that open lane, the cars in that lane might apply the brakes, which might cause more traffic behind it. But in addition to that, the open lane now, which is the right, now allows anyone in that right lane to bypass that early merger, which then, for that person, might feel frustrated or might feel cheated because now cars are passing them. And this might lead to even more traffic and more frustration and maybe even a heated traffic condition. So a possible solution to minimizing the traffic bottleneck as well as the frustration is to use a merge called the zipper merge. The zipper merge allows drivers to use the full capacity of the road and allows seamless traffic to work. The way the zipper works is you stay in your lane and you make sure there's enough room between you and the car in front of you, allowing for the cars in the other lane to merge. And when you get to a merge point, you merge left, right, left, right. Studies have shown that by using the zipper merge, you can reduce traffic by 40%. But the thing is, is you have to collaborate and work together with your fellow drivers for this to happen. And we all know sometimes in the real world this doesn't happen. But next time you find yourself in a situation where you have to merge, consider doing the zipper merge. It only helps reduce traffic, it reduces your frustration levels, and on top of that, you get to your destination a lot quickly. And I don't know anyone else that wouldn't like that. So next time when you're there, consider the zipper, because it can make your bad commute a good commute, but even better, a great commute. Thank you.